Bond yield, February 2021. We are witnessing a significant development in the bond yield. And in this regard, we would like to hear from you. And what's happening in the US bond deal, what's happening in the German bond deals, what happened to UK bond deals, Japanese bond deal, Australian bond deal. So all these are matters which are happening. The US 10 year yield was at 1.44, US 30 year yield was 2.15 by year and last, end of last, by uh, the end of last week. The 10 year traded as good as 1.61 during the session, which was the highest level since February 2020. Yield climbed after the Labor Department showed that the number of job loss claims fell sharply last week, signaling the job market could be stabilizing after the layoff edge higher than earlier in the winter. The move uh, higher in rates in unnerving investors uh, fearing, featuring it could be driven by inflation rather than economic recovery. There is a possibility, but we need economic recovery in real order. They described the jump above 1.6% as a flash move and yield quickly fell back to 1.5 or 1.44. The rise in treasury yields lifted the entire curve with short medium term yields rising as well. The 10 year US dollar yields were likely to rise 2% by the end of the year as investors price in strong growth and rebound in underlying inflation. So that's interesting. Now when it comes to German uh, 10 year yield has risen from minus 0.62% in mid to point mid December I should say 0.29% on Wednesday ended 0.260% by end of the last week. German bond yield could reach a percent with the risk title to the upside. That is a possibility. When it comes to UK bond deals, Britain 10 year gilt yield up by 45 basis points in, in February was also set for the biggest month jump since 2016. 30 year yields headed for their biggest monthly leap since 2009, rising 48 basis points. British 10 year yield was at 0.82 by the end of the last week and British 30 year yield was 1.386 by end of last week. The rising government bond yield posed a challenge for central banks trying to steer economies through COVID-19 crisis. They feed through to the real economy by rising the rates at which bank lend and consumers borrow, thereby tightening the financial conditions. When it comes to Japanese bond, Japan, which targets long dated bonds yield around 0%, has been 10 year yield almost 10 basis point this month to 0.15%. Look at it. Yes, 1.5, 1.6, and Japan absolute contrast that puts on the track on the biggest monthly gain even now by March 2020 the peak of the COVID-19 included market turmoil by the end of the week Japan 10 year yield was 0.156 and a 30 year yield at 0.757 what about Australian bonds Australia 10 year yield was at 1.917 by the end of last week and 30 year bond yield was point rather 2.90 Eight percent Australian bond yield spiked last week along with the US Fed yields. That's the repercussion across the globe, isn't it? This has triggered the whole bond yield. Yes, made the difference and pressed the market to realign, you know, rebalancing in line with the US Treasury rates. So, extraordinary volatility. Let's hope the economies are inflating at the same time. Economic fundamentals are also showing signs of recovery. That's what the need to have moderation in the bond price.